Hey Saggies, welcome to the weekly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from now to October 11th. So let's go ahead and get into the meditative session that I did for you, which for anybody who's new to my channel is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or energy from someone in your environment or someone who's energetically attached to you. And it is energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa. Then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading, okay? Sag. I loved what I was getting in your in, in your meditative session. I'm actually really excited to like tell you guys about it. So I heard wise counsel and something about like ingredients, Sag, like you've got all the ingredients to the recipe. Like you just know what to do. You know what's right. You know your shit. You know your shit. And people are really understanding that for some of you, well, most of you, for the first time. People are seeing your value. People are seeing what you can bring to the table. I did see a zebra, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, zebra energy, it's like, it stands out. It's very flamboyant. It's very out there. It is also very intuitive. And Sag, you are the intuitive fire sign, which a lot of you have heard me say before. And you're just really, really standing out right now. You're getting a lot of attention. A lot of people are coming to you for advice, or a lot of people are drawn to you because it's like, Sag, you clearly knows what's up. Sag, you clearly knows what's going are you guys eating hummus? They just showed me chickpeas. I don't know what that was about. Maybe because some of you guys are eating chickpeas, making hummus. I don't know. That was weird. I don't know why that just came in. Now I'm seeing corn. Okay, someone's eating. Someone's eating. Someone's making dinner. Anyway, that is like doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, Saj, bring it back. Bring it back. People are recognizing that your uniqueness is actually an asset. And I think you've been criticized for that in the past, for being so different or being unique. But people are realizing, oh, that's actually working in Saji's favor. That's actually why they, they know their shit. That's actually why they stand out. That's actually why they're successful. They're realizing the Sag, and I feel like people are flocking to you, coming to you for advice or trying to get like a bit of your energy. So please, please be mindful of that. You don't need any energy vampires trying to suck on your energy and trying to get your little X factor here, okay? Which is really just you being yourself, right? I mean, let's, that's just what it is. It's just you being yourself. And some people don't realize that. Like some people are like, like, you know, tell me, tell me what you're doing. Tell me your recipe, right? So maybe, maybe you guys are chefs. <laughs> tell me your recipe. Tell me how you do it. Tell me how you do it. And you're like, I'm just me. Like, that's like, that's pretty much your response, right? For a lot of you, this is definitely work related. Okay. Definitely work related. Some of you, I'm getting like a life coach energy. Some of you might be exploring that path soon of being a life coach, or maybe that's something that, um, you're newly kind of like researching, educating yourself on here. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a very humanitarian. Oh, ow. Ooh, heart chakra stuff. Heart chakra, heart chakra. Ah. Um, I'm feeling a lot of humanitarian energy coming from you, Saj, which you guys can be. You guys can be very, very humanitarian, okay? Um, especially if you're, like, bordering on that cusp energy of Sag cap, you can be very, very humanitarian in nature. And you have that fiery Sag energy of just going in and doing it, but then the discipline of a cap to get it done, right? Humanitarian work, especially if you're, like, leading something, Take some discipline. It takes a lot of discipline to set something like that up. But some of you are doing that. Some of you are even getting involved in volunteer work or thinking about doing it. But Saj, the big takeaway is people are coming to you because, <laughs> why am I getting that line? I'm getting that Paul Mooney line and I don't want to butcher it, but it's actually a really fun line. So sorry, Paul, Paul, I doubt you're watching this because this is so not his thing. Um, but I might butcher it. I'm gonna try not to. It's like, they don't want the cake they don't want to taste what you have. They want the fucking recipe. You know what I mean? It's like they want to know how you do it, how like where you get your ingredients, how you put all this shit together. But it's really just who you are. It's really just who you are. So just be mindful, Sag, because some people are going to be drawn to you because of vampiric desires. While others are genuinely just trying to kind of expand in their own life or gain some wisdom here, you're kind of, you are acting as wise counsel right now, okay? And in doing so, be careful. You might find out a lot of... Um, secrets so people might reveal a lot of secrets to you in your inner, inner circles be mindful of that because you don't want to get pulled into any drama okay all right Sag. let's go ahead and get these cards calibrated but you're very attractive right now Sag. you're very very attractive people just want to know what's up how your brain works how you do your thing oh some of you guys are in fashion that's cool i like that some of you guys are in fashion i'm just seeing fabrics I'm seeing lots of fabrics, really colorful fabrics. That's really cool. I like that. Okay. Anyway, keep it going. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Some of you guys are going on retreats or need, needing to. Some of you guys are needing to. Be mindful of that. If you're feeling a little 
disconnected or if you're feeling really like out of balance out of whack or like unable to ground some of you guys might need a spiritual retreat time in the woods i think would be very helpful for you sag definitely time out in the sun if you can get it i know it's like fall right now depending on where you are in the world you may or may not have sun Giving forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it <laughs> i just heard get a heat lamp that's funny get a heat lamp sag Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, regarding love from now to October 11th. For some of you, you're not used to people flocking to you and it is giving you anxiety. If it is giving you anxiety, just make sure you're, that you're aware of that and you're tuning into that to deal with it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those... Oh, light switch, light switch, light switch. Something's been switched on in a lot of you. Something's been switched on in a lot of you. It's either an internal change... Yeah, for some of you, it's just an internal change or just realizing something about yourself. Owning, thank you. Owning something about yourself. And it's turned on a switch to flock people to you. Almost like turning on a light bulb and like the moths come in. Very interesting. Please bring forth messages of true feeling and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, I'm seeing a go. So you guys are definitely like cappy cuspers or you know Capricorns. You have that in your chart that can be very significant for you right now. We do have a lot of stuff still going on in Capricorns at the end of the year. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For oh, almost up for Capricorn. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm also getting August and July. Something might have happened during that time. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. Well, I'm getting a lot of messages for you guys. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. From now to October 11th. Almost said 7th. That day could be very significant. That's also in the window of awesome communication, that Mars-Venus window. Ace of Cups in reverse, Sag. E, okay. Ace of Cups in reverse here. The people that are coming to you, you're, 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 you're picking up on who's genuine and who's not, and it's, it, it, it's, it's bothering you. For some of you, it's the first time. Because for some of you, something's been triggered within you, Sag. For some, it could even be abilities coming online. And suddenly you're realizing, oh my God, all these people in my life are inauthentic. Some of you guys could be realizing that, okay? I am also getting something about like, um, it's not delayed. What's that word? What's that word? Like out, Like love that's out of reach. Uh, there's a longing that I'm picking up on, Sag. There's a longing here. Someone could be longing for you or you could be longing for somebody. But it's just something that's like, it's true, it's genuine, but it's just out of reach. Could be a long distance relationship, but not necessarily. If that's resonating with you, you'll know what that's pertaining to. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius. Ooh, a lot of cards just came out here. Oh my. We have an Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, with Page of Pentacles in reverse, um, Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, and the Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra energy could also be air or water. I do not like this energy at all. It's a very cold energy. And Sag, I feel like you're looking at it. I feel like this is what you're analyzing. It feels a ver very much like a family dynamic. doesn't have to be, but it feels like a family dynamic. Um... The pa uh, pa uh. Passive aggressive. That's the term. <laughs> passive aggressive. Whoever this is, Sag, they're very, very passive aggressive and they're very childish. But I feel like they're older. I do feel like they might even be older than you, but they don't have to be. But whoever this is, Sag, they're an adult. They're definitely an adult, but they act very childish. And it's like they're very, very passive aggressive. And you're just wondering what to do about this person. You're wondering what to do about this person. You could even be a student, but again, not necessarily. Um, you're wondering what to do about them. There's something like you ha you have to deal with this person. You have to deal with this person. I'm not sure why, but you have to. Losing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, this is definitely relating to family. You guys are really focused on love here. Feeling love, feeling content, feeling happy. That's what you're focused on. Hearth and home. And it's interesting because I feel like as you're focusing on that, people are bombarding you. Sag, and it's kind of like, can I just focus on my peace, please? <laughs> can I just focus on my home? Can I just focus on my peace? Can I just focus on my happiness? Like, that's really all I want to focus on. You feel intruded upon. You feel intruded upon. For those where there's a longing for somebody romantically, that's also what you're thinking about. 
keep in mind this can be vice versa someone can be thinking about you sag and like how do i build a home with sag how do i get with sag and have that ultimate happiness please bring forth messages of truth healing and love yeah wow king of wands in reverse leo energy could also be fire or air yeah in regards to this like hearth home energy there's someone who's not participating or someone who's resisting what is this resistance about someone's defiant someone's being defiant sag and you're just kind of like <laughs> like a typical saggy response hold on hmm. i'm getting defiancy with this it's weird you're trying to focus on building a happy life happy home but it feels shared it doesn't feel like just you and you're dealing with someone who's very defiant very set in their ways very stubborn a very stubborn energy and a little bit of a controlling energy for some of you it is also the same person because i'm getting a childish energy with this very childish very passive aggressive very very controlling and you're just like what the fuck am i supposed to do with this and it's like what am i supposed to do i just want my peace i just want my happiness and i want to be left alone oh sag you want to be left alone on the bottom of the deck we've got the devil i thought i was feeling happy energy i feel like this is a big lesson for you sag especially for those of you where it's like you're dealing with people coming to you for advice for wise counsel because you are a bit of a zebra sag you do everything in your own nature when you want these glitches are bothering me. Uh, whenever you want, how you want it, unapologetically, right? That's very Sagittarian nature. Um, but there's such a sense of control by the people in your environment that it's almost like they're trying to control you a little bit. You're not having that. You're gunning for this, and you're trying to figure out how you can get this. You're trying to figure out how you can get this without, you know, getting controlled by these other energies. And it does feel family-related for a lot of you. It doesn't have to be. It could also be uh, work-related. And others of you where there's a romantic kind of energy that you're dealing with, there's a longing where it's kind of out of reach for whatever reason or another. But it does feel like a major longing, like a missing, like missing someone. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So for those who are new to tarot and new to my channel, please know these, general, these messages are very, very general. Okay, they are not for everybody. Messages come through for those who need them, as you heard me set the intention already. Um, so if it's not your week, it's not your week. No, I'm wrong with that. A lot of great readers here on YouTube you guys can check out. Okay. Um, also guys we are working with energy so just know that energy can be reversed or vice versa and don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing is gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy and time is not linear so don't get caught up on the time frame of this video it's just for organizational purposes okay any other information you need look down below any messages for sagittarius actually any chapstick hold on sorry sorry hold on mm. Sorry, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Little ADD moment, sorry. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? From now to October 11th. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Why am I getting the word hammock? Um, again, some of you guys are just focused on your happiness, your family, what makes you happy. Um, oh, I'm getting healthy as well. Healthy. Maybe some of you guys might be trying to implement more healthy decisions or lifestyle choices here. But I'm getting this energy of like, I just need to be away and I need to relax and I need to, I need to be happy. I need to be happy. I need to put myself first. I know that all these people want my advice. I know people need me. I know people need this. I know people need, need that. I need me. Ooh, I need me. I need me. So you guys might definitely be dealing with a Leo because we have a lot of Leo energy and Hammock is definitely relating to um, one of the Leo nakshatras in Vedic. Let's keep it going. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Oh, four of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, rejection and getting over shit. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, by the way, more of that cappy energy. Yeah, you're, Sag, you're, you're trying to figure out how to make space in your life. This is interesting. 
you're making moves, you're making space in your life, and you're cutting things out. You're definitely cutting things out, even if it's just like lifestyle choices or even food choices, to as big as like cutting out whole relationships. Yeah, this is big. You're cutting out and you're rejecting a lot of things that don't resonate with you or things that, that you are realizing are inauthentic. Some of you are coming to this realization because your abilities are coming online um, or you're just that much more aware and much more in tune. Oh, three of swords, Libra energy. Yeah, someone's hurting. Someone's hurting over this rejection side. You could be rejecting someone and they could be really, really hurt over it or someone could have rejected you and you could be really hurt over it. Keep in mind it can be vice versa, but Sag, I feel like you were doing the rejecting. Like you're doing the rejecting. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Oh, Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. So now we have a really, really strong masculine energy coming in here, okay? Uh, this masculine energy is not grounded, though. They're very controlling. This is someone who's very, very controlling, okay? Father figure, grandfather figure, CEO, judge, lawyer, someone who's been through a lot of shit and owns, owns a lot of shit or has control over a lot of things. But in reverse, it's like they're, they're tyrannical. Tyrannical. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Let's see here. Oh, that's a lot. I'm not taking that. That's a lot. That's a lot. Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now till October 11th? <laughs> so it's like, you're going to take these damn cards. Okay, okay. Ooh. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the Two of Swords in reverse. Saggy, this Two of Pentacles in reverse tells me that this is more of that energy that you're doing, you're cutting out. You're cutting out things that don't serve you. You're cutting out things that are inauthentic here, and it is causing drama. There is drama attached to this with this Knight of Swords energy. For some of you, it is di di mm -hmm. directly related to this individual, okay? For some of you, it's not. This is an interesting energy. For some, I feel like it's just a floating energy around you in your vicinity, but very powerful, very potent, very strong. For some of you, you have like your father speaking to you or your grandfather speaking to you, giving you uh, clues and cues as to what to cut out, okay? Um, but anyway, this is making the clear headed decision to cut out anything that brings drama and brings stress to your life. I like it. I really like that, Sag. Let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Ah, there you are, Saggy Temperance card. I like that. This is you finding your balance. This is you finding your balance and being in your energy, okay? Being at home in yourself, feeling at peace. <sighs> feeling at peace. And it's the Major Arcana as well, which I really love when that happens. It, it, this is definitely just you, okay? This is definitely just you. Sorry, guys, let me get some more water. <coughs> My throat chakra's been a mess. Mm. Mm. Not a mess, just integrating energy. A lot of light workers are still doing that. Mm. but yeah Saj I like it I really like it you're ending in a really really nice peaceful place which is exactly what you've been striving for that's exactly what you've been striving for overall energy we have magician in reverse mercurial energy so Virgo Gemini could also be Aquarius Scorpio for me as a reader divine masculine energy with the seven of wands Leo energy Ooh, with the fool Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card okay whoever this is whoever this is for some of you like I said the stuff you're cutting out is directly related to this person. Others of you, this is someone giving you advice in your ear spiritually. I do feel like it is a passed on masculine energy, okay? That's only for a few of you. <clears throat> Mostly this emperor is attached to what's being cut out. And they're putting up a fight. We have the magician in reverse with the seven ones and the fool. This is you going into... <clears throat> oh my gosh, Sag. <laughs> this is requiring a lot of truth to be spoken. Which is why my heart chakra is going crazy. This person's in denial. For those where this is someone directly related to the shit you got to cut out. They're in denial about something, Sag. Um, <clears throat> and with this energy, it's almost like manipulation. They're very manipulative because they're very controlling. They're very controlling. They're very tyrannical, okay? With the Seven of Wands, it's like they don't want you to do this. They don't want you to cut things out of your life for your betterment. It's like they don't want you to get to this place that you're trying to get to. But it's not because they don't want you to be happy, Saj. I need to make that clear. It's not because they don't want you to be happy. 
It's not about that. It's about their own insecurities and what their needs are. It's about them. It's about them and their controlling nature. It's not they don't want you to be happy. They're just acting out of selfishness. It's it's not an excuse, but that's, that, that is what it is, okay? That is what it is. So let's look at the Four of Cups and see what exactly it is that you're rejecting or cutting out here, okay? Actually, you know what? No, I take that back. Let's look at the Three of Swords because this is the pain. This is the pain being stowed, bestowed upon others. I want to see more about that because it's going to give us more details. So I'm at the Three of Swords. And Sag, for some of you, this could be a hard decision, right? For some of you, this pain is also yours from things that you have to reject or things that you have to cut out or people you have to cut out for your betterment. So I'm at the Three of Swords. For Sagittarius, regarding love from now till October 11th. Of the three of swords for Sagittarius. Time of the three of swords for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Time of the three of swords for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Time of the three of swords for Sagittarius. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Uh huh. Yep. There's the Emperor again. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy with the world in reverse, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn controls what? Capricorn. All that Cappy energy. And we've got the Fool on the bottom. Yeah, this pain belongs to the Emperor. They don't want this to end. You're trying to cut them out. They don't want you to. They don't want you to. Keep in mind, a masculine energy can be feminine. It doesn't have to be a man. It's just energy. Let's see what else we got here. Play more about the Three of Swords for Sagittarius. Play more about the Three of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Play more about the Three of Swords for Sagittarius. Reg oh, shit. Yep. And there it is. Wow. Two of Cups in Reverse. Can't Syrian energy. Could also be Soulmate energy for me as a reader. High Priestess in Reverse. Piscean energy. Could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Okay? This is the recognition that something does need to be cut out. And you're, tell, you're telling them that. You're telling them that. You're like, look, I'm sorry, but this like tyrannical energy, this controlling energy you have, this manipulative energy you have because your own, you, your you know, selfish needs or insecurity, whatever it is, needing to control shit because you don't have control over shit. When we want to control something, it's out of fear. Fear really pushes the need to control or the urge to control because we're afraid something's not going to go a certain way but at the end of the day things happen the way they're supposed to happen you can't control everything and you can't control other people right but this person doesn't know that obviously <laughs> or if they do they just don't want to accept that but either way they don't want the cycle to end with you sag but the truth of it is it needs to be cut out it needs to be cut out because it's not balanced it's not balanced it's not healthy and they don't really take your needs into consideration like i said it's not that they don't want you to be happy they just care more about their own needs. Overall energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy, I'm getting instability with this. Major, major instability. For some, this person could have even threatened your finances. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, for some, this person could have even threatened your finances and you're not having that. You're not having it. End of discussion, <laughs> right? End of discussion, that's it, that's it. Um, so anyway, here's them being a tyrant. Uh, not to throw shade at this person, I'm just the messenger, right? We've all been there at some point in time of being so afraid of something not happening the way we want it to, but, you know, this person just needs to learn that lesson. So, Sad, so just as you making that uh, clear-headed decision to cut some shit out because it brings too much stress into your life, brings too much chaos into your life, too much instability into your life, and all you care about is your happy place. That's all you care about. I want to be happy, and I want to have peace of mind, and I want a healthy, happy family. That's all I want. Even if my family's just the you know occupancy of one that's all you want right but you're making that decision to cut this shit out so let's look at the two of swords in reverse see what we get with that so santa muerte so i have the two of swords in reverse so i have the two of swords in reverse for sagittarius regarding love from now to october 11th come on come on come on there we go thank you Tie the Two of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. 
Find out Two of Swords in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Find out Two of Swords in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Okay. Find out Two of Swords. <laughs> Card went flying. Emperor in Reverse. Emperor has come up three freaking times out of three freaking decks. It is the strongest energy in your reading, Sag. Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. So make a clear headed decision about this emperor. <clears throat> clear the two of swords in reverse. I, I feel like you're acting as the high priestess here, Sag. I feel like you're really acting out of your higher self or you're very in tune with your higher self right now. Because, I mean, this emperor almost feels like because when, when it comes to tarot, there's like a hierarchy of energy when it comes to people's characters. You know, you have the page, then the knight, then the queen, then the king, and then the emperor, empress, high priestess, priest, high, high priest, which is also the hierophant. You're, you're dealing with an emperor, but it feels like your energy is almost like, I don't like the word superior. It's not that. It's just vibing, vibing higher than this emperor is. Uh, yeah, I really feel like you're acting out of like the, your higher self here. I really feel that. Tell me the two of swords in reverse, which is a great place to be. Tell me the two of swords in reverse. For Sagittarius, regarding love from now to October 11. Aye. Wow. Justice. Libra energy and the nine of cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Oh, Libra energy for justice. Don't know if I said that. Sag, you already know what to do. You're too unhappy. And you're tired of being unhappy. You're tired of having your, your stability threatened. Some of you, like I said, have had your finances threatened. You're not dealing with it. You're not. You're refusing. You're refusing and you're bringing justice to the situation, which is cutting this person out and cutting out other things that really uh, threaten your happiness and your stability. Anything that's not supporting your end goal, you're cutting it out, even if it's a person. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Wow, seven of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, this person has not only been controlling, but also manipulative and threatened your finances. You consider that to be a deceptive act. Sab sabotage, thank you. You consider it to be very, um, it's not how you conjugate that word. Um, a very sabotaging energy. No, oh, that sounds like English. That sounds like per per right grammar. That sounds like grammar. Tell you about two of swords in reverse. Tell you about two of swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. Let's see here. Is this the nine or the six? The nine. Nine of wands. Nine of wands in reverse. With the is that the queen? Oh my gosh, it is the queen. Nine of wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy and the queen of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water here. I feel this is like giving up. Yeah, Sag. I feel like this is your energy. You're too tired. You're too goddamn tired. You're too tired of this shit. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're, you're, it's time for you to give to you. And you know that. It's time to fill up your own cup. Focus on you. And to stop giving to others and letting others uh, run the show here. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Ooh. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Oh. Ace of Wands in reverse. Like I said, you've been tired and you've lost passion for this situation as well. You've lost passion for this person. You've lost passion for the situation. You're tired. They've been taking from you. It's, they've been controlling you. They've been very tyrannical. And you can't do that to a Sag. A Sag has to breathe, right? A Sag has to breathe. A Sag needs to, like, spread its wings. You don't have wings, but you know what I mean. A Sag can't be contained. Like, they are the epitome of freedom and exploration and, and just... that that's, They're the epitome of that. They're the epitome of that. Caging a Sag will just make a Sag insane and very resentful. Overall energy, Ace of Cups... Given that love of, that, that love of, of, that cup of love to yourself, Sag, with the King of Pentacles in reverse underneath that, Taurian energy could also be Earth or a Air here, okay? So it's interesting because this person, where'd you go? This person is a true pair to you. You got the King and Queen of Pentacles. I don't see the Empress out here, but we do have the Emperor. Oh, we did have the Empress earlier. Never mind. No, that was Leo. That was Leo. Sorry, guys. Sorry, that was that was Leo. But we do have the pre-empress card here. Either way, you are a true pair, but that's not enough, right? This person clearly has some control issues, and you know that. 
you know they have control issues, which is why you're taking your cup of love and you're giving it to yourself. You're giving it to you because it belongs to you and you need it for you, right? So let's look at temperance. Let's look at you and see how you're ending the reading, okay? Tell me about temperance. You're definitely cutting this person out. Even if it hurts, you're cutting this person out. They don't serve your highest good right now. And they can go and, you know, learn how to not be tyrannical or controlling or manipulative. And then they can deal with you. Tell me about temperance. Tell me about temperance for Sagittarius. Regarding love. Tell me about temperance for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. One more. Tell me about temperance for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about temperance for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. You're not dealing with other people. Very much so the same theme. You're not dealing with other people. You're going to deal with yourself. <laughs> you and yourself and any other people who want to add to your um, your happiness here. But you're not working with this emperor anymore. You're not dealing with this emperor anymore. You're also doing some healing over the fact that they've been so controlling and not really a team player with you. You're healing that energy as well. Tell me about temperance for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Hearing wise counsel again. For some of you, you might not get you might not get bombarded by people until you make this decision and come into your true temperance high priestess energy. Okay. Tell me about temperance for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October eleventh. Tell me about temperance for Sag. What do we got here? Ooh, page of swords in reverse. I'm getting immature communication. Yeah, this is all shit that you're healing within yourself and getting balance from because you're removing it from your life. Yeah, I'm getting really, really immature communication there. Even getting a little bit of lies. I think this person tried to control you using lies or white lies or omissions. People don't think those are lies, but they are. So I'm about temperance for Sagittarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Okay. Overall energy. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Oh, I like it. And then we have Strength and Reverse Leo energy. I really like this because I feel like this is you protecting your heart. And which isn't a bad thing. It's okay to have an open heart and all of that. But it's also going to protect it as well. Right? Inside, you're also learning that lesson that your energy is precious. Again, watch out for those energy vampires when you get bombarded for your wise counsel. You're protecting your heart chakra. But with Strength and Reverse, you're not being controlling. And there's that perfect balance, right? There's that perfect tempered balance quite literally, quite literally. Um, I consider the Four of Pentacles to be the minor to the major strength card here, okay? Because the Four of Pentacles, it's not only just about holding on, it is also about control, it is also about power, which is the strength card, right? But this is balancing those. Having your power, protecting your heart chakra, protecting yourself and holding on to what you have, while at the same time not being controlling, and allowing yourself to engage with others, talk with others without them taking away your energy or taking what you have or taking your power, including this emperor. That's really beautiful, Sag. I loved this reading. I really like this a lot. This was a nice little uh, spread we got going on here. Very spiritual as well. Very spiritual and all about your growth and your personal power. Let's get some advice, Sag. And I'll wrap this up. Any advice for my Sagis? Regarding this spread. Any advice for my Sagis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Sagis regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for my Sagis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Sagis regarding this spread? Okay, okay. Ooh, oh, everyone's getting this freaking card. Oh my God, I've seen it in so many readings the last like week or so. 
Be spirit, sweet results await with the energy of seven. So being on your path heading in the right direction, ego spirit, spirit has your back, 23 breaking down to five, causing change in your life by cutting out the things that don't serve your highest good, don't serve your dream, don't support your dream, don't support you, and cutting out this tyrant as well. You will be rewarded for the Sag, and it's exactly what you're supposed to do, and spirit's guiding you to it. Your intuition is guiding you to do this as well. You're also protected is what I'm getting. You're also very protected. Let's see what else we got here. Getting, I'm hearing wise counsel again. Wise counsel, wise counsel, wise counsel. Some of you might seek advice on this, but I don't think you even have to, Sag. Because you're so in higher energy right now as the high priestess and your temperance card. You're such in high energy, high vibe energy, that it's like, I don't think you really need to, but some of you might. Some of you might. <sighs> ah, I love it. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. The energy of 11. Look how illuminated this is. And it's funny because remember I was getting that light switch energy, like a light has turned on within you. Doesn't it look like there's a big spotlight on this butterfly? Just super beautiful, super attractive. Can't get enough of it. Sag, whatever has happened to you during this process, I feel like even just cutting this person out was a sense of empowerment that also could have turned your light on. And like I said, for a lot of you, once you step into this higher level energy and get rid of this tyrant, that's when people are going to go, oh, look at that. That's when people are going to go, oh, look at Saggy, right? That's when some of that's going to happen for a lot of you. You're going to be very attractive right now because it's changing you. It's bringing you to, closer to your higher self. I like it. Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? What did I say about empowerment? Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Energy of 44, which is a master number here, Sag. I love this. I'm getting fierce ass energy off of this. Very fierce energy. You doing this, making these moves, is putting you into your higher self. It's exactly, the, oh, I just heard sacrifice. Interesting. It's the sacrifice that needs to be made to make room for your blessings to come in. I talked about this recently in a, in a monthly reading. I forget which one it was. I feel like it was an air sign video. Was it Libra or Gemini? I don't remember, but I think it was air sign. It could have been a fire sign, but anyway. So the, the sacrifice card came out. The sacrifice is about releasing something uh, in order for it to be ordained or blessed by ether, spirit, and for it to return back to you threefold or come back to you in the form of a blessing that you deserve. And Saj, I do feel like that's happening here. So not only is it a sacrifice for you, because it, it, it hurts you too. It definitely hurts some of you too. Um, but it's making space for you to come into more of your higher energy, to connect to your higher self and giving you your power back, making you feel empowered, making you feel strong and like yourself again, but also to return something similar back to you that will be in the form of a blessing. I really like it. Overall, oh my God, so perfect. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67 that breaks down to a four, stability. You will have stability. You will have that happy life happy family, happy home situation. Also health, they keep telling me health as well. This is a card of uh, teaching and lessons learned. Uh, I've been through shit, I know I've been through shit. I'm, ma I'm putting that stuff into practice because that means I'm wise. That means you're going from learning to wisdom when you actually put your lessons into practice. That's mastery. You have two master numbers here, Sag. If I can pick these up. This is gonna be hard, but it's it's turning you from like, it's making you from the student to the teacher in a lot of ways, okay? Because it's making you kind of practice your own shit. And there's a sense of maturity that's coming with this. And again, I'm getting stuck on that word wisdom, wise counsel. This whole process is making you that wise counsel, Sag. And it's beautiful, I love it. And what I'm also really loving is underneath that, we have Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. I love that this is here because like I said, for some of you, you're letting go of this person. And for some of you, this is a romantic interest or a partner of yours. And like I said, it's a sacrifice to allow that space to grow, come more connected into your higher self for that blessing to be returned back to you, a blessing that you really deserve. For some of you, you'll be getting a very mature very someone who has control over themselves and who doesn't need to control others who will love you in the way that you deserve to be loved okay nightingale spirit for me as a reader usually implies every, there's a very significant love interest involved in all of this and like i said for some of you there is but i feel like that's for you to let this person go because they have stuff to learn for them to either return back learnt 
<laughs> or taught, that's proper grammar, uh, taught, or to have a new person come in who's really more up to your caliber, who's connected to their higher self, okay? Saji, either way, oh, okay. Saji, either way, this is a beautiful reading. You're stepping into your power. You're doing the shit you gotta do and you're finding your balance and you're, you are acting as the high priestess and it's beautiful and it will pay off, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to page, don't forget to check out Patreon uh, and Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Sagis. I love you. Namaste.